Hi, I'm Saurabh Goel, a consultant ophthalmologist with special interest in glaucoma. I work at St. Thomas's Hospital in London and Blackheath Hospital in Kent. So my main special interest is glaucoma and cataracts and related conditions. I passionately believe that most blindness due to glaucoma can be prevented by early diagnosis and effective management. And to this end, I see patients related to this condition four or five days a week uh, to just try and make sure that whosoever is under my care do not lose their sight during their lifetime. So glaucoma is a group of eye conditions where there is damage to the optic nerve which is the cable which connects the eye to the brain. Unfortunately the damage due to glaucoma is irreversible and it is usually with high pressure in the eye. There are different types of glaucoma. Uh, some are primary that there is no other eye condition involved and it can be open angle or closed angle. And some are secondary glaucomas because of other eye conditions like trauma or because of uh, some you know, congenital like from birth. Uh, some glaucomas are due to inflammation in the eye or previous surgeries or uh, steroid use, but most of them are primary. Unfortunately, most glaucomas don't have symptoms till very late in the course of the disease. So initially you may have glaucoma that there is optic nerve damage. You could lose up to 50 to 60 percent or even more of the nerve without noticing any problem. And then when it's very late, you may start noticing the dullness in the light, the vision not being so clear or bumping into things or areas of vision missing. But in most patients in primary glaucomas, open angle glaucoma, there are no symptoms. There are some glaucomas like acute angle closure uh, type of um, glaucoma where their eye may become painful or red or he headaches. But in general, most glaucomas have no symptoms. Therefore, it's important that it gets checked up so that we can pick up glaucoma. So in our country, mostly the glaucoma is diagnosed when people go for their regular eye examinations to the opticians. And then they pick up that they have high pressure or a visual field defect or a optic nerve which shows damage. So in general, the glaucoma diagnosis is an opportunistic diagnosis at opticians and then they are referred for confirmation to the uh, consultants or hospitalized service. You may not have any symptoms at all, but if you have a family history of glaucoma, and as you grow older, the, 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 um, the incidence of glaucoma increases, or there may be some other eye conditions for which you have been told that you are at risk of glaucoma, then you obviously need more regular checkups for glaucoma. Otherwise, for general population, it's every two years. For people with family history, we say every year to get checkup with the opticians. So glaucoma thankfully is a very treatable condition and most people, like I said, can have their blindness prevented by, uh, uh, by effective treatment. The treatments are uh, mostly starting with drops and there are various eye drops for this to, to lower the pressure. That is the only thing you can do to lower the eye pressure. There's a not, not a lot in the lifestyle and other things apart from having regular checkups and uh, having regular treatment, there's not a lot you can do personally. So the treatments are basically eye drops to lower the pressure, then laser treatment, and then surgery. And the surgery can be various forms depending on the type of glaucoma. We now have uh, procedures which are we call as minimally invasive, which you know have lesser risk as compared to traditional operations. Some of these can be combined with cataract surgery because cataract is a common condition in, in uh, elderly age group as well. So there are various types of operations and lasers which can be done, but the type which is suitable for you will depend on your glaucoma, how advanced it is, what is the type of glaucoma, whether you have cataracts or not, and, and various other uh, considerations. So the benefit of the surgery is mainly to prevent sight loss. And if you reduce the pressure well enough to the level, which is basically more relevant to where your pressure should be, it could be 10 millimeters of mercury, 14, or sometimes even six, where we can prevent further sight loss. So that is the main benefit to reduce the pressure to reduce the risk of blindness. So the risk of glaucoma surgery it depends on what surgery we do. Like I said, there are minimally invasive surgeries. There are traditional surgeries like trabeculectomy and tube surgeries. Then there is cataract surgery, which is very safe and that can be helpful in treating certain glaucomas. We can combine cataract surgery with, let's say, laser or an implant to reduce the pressure at the same time. So the risk of surgery for blindness is less than 1%. That's a ballpark figure that we should know is usually in the range of one in 300 to one in 500. If we are doing minimally invasive surgery, it could be as low as one in a thousand. If you have 
surgery for glaucoma, you're more likely to get cataracts in the future, which can be treated very easily. The other risks are minor, like say bleeding on the surface of the eye, the eye becoming red, which will settle down with time. The serious complications are infection in the eye, having a serious bleed at the back of the eye or having too low a pressure, that can also be a problem uh, or the surgery can fail. So these are the main risks, but overall the surgery is safe, but there is no 100% safety in any surgery. So as regards why you have got glaucoma and what you can do in day-to-day -day life, so it's not something you have done or not done that has led to the glaucoma. It's a manifestation of uh, genes that you have inherited most of the time or some other eye conditions like pseudoexfoliation, pigment dispersion, injury, surgery, which has led to the glaucoma. So it's not something that you have caused. The only thing you can do, like we discussed earlier, is to go regularly to the opticians for the eye test so that it can be picked up early. Because people think, oh, my sight is fine, I can see well, why should I need to go? But that perception is not correct because, like we said, 90% of the nerve can be lost before you can get severe symptoms. So don't wait for the symptoms, go for regular eye checkups. As regards lifestyle changes, we know that mild exercise or moderate exercise can help to reduce the pressure. But these are usually not enough to reduce it to the level where it's safe uh, to be without treatment. So the best you can do is to go for regular checkups afterwards as well, have regular treatment, use your drops regularly. Because people often, in fact 50% of the drops don't go in regularly because people think that, you know, of course it's not easy to use drops regularly or any treatment regularly, but people don't realize that because they don't have any symptoms and they don't feel the pressure, they think I'm okay. So not using drops regularly can also lead to problems uh, and then lead to blindness.